So, it's just come out just today as of recording that uh, John Barillaro is completely dropping the defamation case against Friendly Geordies. Completely dropped. So, this means that Jordan doesn't have to delete any videos. Should we do a quick recap for anyone who yep. is maybe international and has no idea what the hell we're about to talk about? Yeah. So, Australian comedians, YouTubers, mm-hmm. political commentator. Journalists. Journalists. Yeah. Friendly Geordies, past guest of the show. Yes. Um, you may not remember it because he, he was asleep for mm-hmm. about 75% of the episode. Yep. Um. But great episode nonetheless. Yep. We love having him on. Mm-hmm. Um, he was being sued by former mm. Deputy MP of New South Wales, John Barillaro. Yeah. Braz, as he's known. Yeah. For defamation. And for defamation, for all of the jokes that he told about him, for <laughs> apparently him being racist, for making Italian jokes, calling him fat, he etc. did put his face uh, on a T-shirt of him if he was a meatball. Yeah, <laughs> but and also, but he, but it's fine. Um, no, I think it, it's fine. yeah, it's fine because he also made a key ring of him if he was a ball sack. That's so that's good. that balances things out. That's fine. Um, so uh, John, be, uh, being a very very wealthy man, yep. set out to sue Jordan Shanks for defamation in in like a very rich guy way of like basically you know if I have money and you don't and I sue you, you've lost because you can't pay. To win, basically. Yep. Lawyers are super expensive. So, John uh, is a very wealthy man and potentially there's a rumour that maybe other people were also funding his legal defence because uh, they have been very, like, clammy about confirming or denying whether anyone is contributing to the, his legal costs or even uh, representing him, you know, for a reduced cost or free of charge. Mm-hmm. They're, they are refusing to comment on that at all, which probably means that someone's helping out to try and take out this dude or doing it as a favour to maybe curry political favour um, with John just think while he was a, a politician. Of, uh, politicians are a lot of... Rich people don't like what Jordan is doing. Yes, because uh, mm. he's making them look bad. Yeah, which is for their own actions yeah. and behavior. Like, mm. oh, come on, man, like, man, I should be able to do whatever I like with no scrutiny. Yeah, come on, dude, you're bullying me. Yeah. When you when you accuse me of corruption, that's not reporting. That's bullying, and it's very mean. Stop yep. it. Mm-hmm. Um, so John uh, sues him. Probably Pretty similar vibe to us when we get a negative comment on our YouTube channel. Yeah, really good. Yeah. Um, probably thinking <laughs> that he can just outspend Jordan, right? Yep. And then obviously this breaks the news cycle. Everyone's talking about it. And then Jordan uh, launches a crowdfund and raises over a million dollars for his legal defense. And he gets some of the best lawyers in the game, people who have uh, represented people who have like leaked sensitive information. Like They've done some really, really big, big cases. I reckon that would have been the worst part for John is... Mm. The one thing he couldn't control was the crowdfund. Yeah. And it was really showed mm. how the public felt yeah. about him yeah. and the case and mm. just what was going on in general. He would have been like, people fucking hate me. Well, that's why he quit. A million dollars. Yeah. So, people raised a million dollars to essentially yeah. l- be like, nah, Bruz was a good one. Yeah. And also, fuck you. Dude, I donated money and I love Jordan. I did not donate money because I like Jordan. I donated (laughs) money because I do not like John. (laughs) That's Mine was an angry donation. I'm sure there was a few love donations, but I bet most of it was like, fuck that guy. Yeah. Take take my angry cash. So wild to just be that disliked. Yes, yeah. So uh, so that happens, uh, which I imagine freaked John out. And now, so it's been a f- quite a few months since this case has started. John has since resigned from politics, citing uh, literally basically saying a big reason why he left was because of this defamation case, but also because of all of the online, like uh, the reception to his behavior, basically what people think of him. He couldn't handle the criticism from the public which is part of being a job being he was a like politician blocking people on twitter and stuff right? yeah yeah. he blocked yeah. me he yeah. blocked everyone um so he just basically he resigned because he couldn't handle it um 
And now, uh, you know, about a month or two after his resignation, he's dropped the defamation case entirely, which, and this is all, you know, this is, I don't know this for sure, this is just what I suspect, perhaps because he's not a politician anymore, he can't pull any strings, maybe if there was someone contributing to his legal funds or helping him out for free, if they were doing that to get political favours in return, maybe him retiring made them go, oh, well, you can't help me anymore, so I'm not going to help you. Mm. That's Maybe that happened. Maybe he just gave up because he thought he couldn't win or he couldn't deal with it. Unites in his Airbnb. (laughs) That's a good perk. I've heard that's very expensive. Um, So this is the statement. Uh, John Barillaro, the former Deputy Premier, has discontinued his defamation claim against Jordan Shanks. Uh, Mark Davis, who is uh, Jordan's lawyer, says, Our client will not be paying a cent in damages to Mr. Barillaro and not one video will be taken down. So in terms of a win, this is huge for Jordan. He doesn't have to take anything down. He doesn't have to pay any money to John, which is great. Um, But... uh, Davis says, Mr. Shanks was denied the defense of truth because of the parliamentary privilege enjoyed by Mr. Barillaro. Under the circumstances, we're more than satisfied that the action has been withdrawn because that was a big thing. Basically, what Jordan was being sued for defamation over was over things that John said in parliament which could not be used in court at all uh, because of parliamentary privilege. So, maybe it got to a point where the judge or, or I don't really understand how this stuff goes, but maybe it got to a point where it's oh, like... Oh, it's good talking about it then. Well, you can't... <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I, no I, I, th- I think that maybe it got to a point where it was like, hey, man, you can't really sue someone over things you said in parliament if you won't let them use what you said in parliament as a defense because it's, it's broken. Contradictory. It's like, I can punch you, you can't punch me. That's right. not a real fair fight. I don't know. Didn't Jordan and his team have to still pay a hundred thousand dollars? Yes, yeah, so they uh, have to. They something? have to pay a hundred thousand uh, dollars for um, like legal costs or for legal costs. I believe up over the. Um, can you fact check that, Keelan? Why he has to pay that? I think, but it's, it's not to John's team. It's to the courts, right? For legal defense. For legal things. Oh. Defense. Oh, so. So he has to pay a hundred thousand dollars. Oh, I think it's because he lost a st- in court on one thing. Jordan did. He lost. He lost in uh, removing John's parliamentary privilege. So they wanted to argue the truth defense of like, which is basically if you know, if I say that uh, you punched someone in the street and you did, you can't sue me for defamation because that's just true. Right, so Jordan wanted to use the defense of, oh well, what I said is true, and he said I can prove it because he did this in Parliament. But because they couldn't use what John said in Parliament, he loses on that because he can't use that as evidence. Mm. So he has to prove it in a different way, which is kind of bullshit. So he lost on that segment of the case. I mean, if that's like that's really losing on a technicality. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I think so. so. I think it, it, the point still stands. Of like, yeah, well, it's like, oh, you did this, and I can prove it. And then I go, well, no, I actually did that in the secret room, I so think, you can't use that as evidence. I think he won in the sense that he proved to the Absolutely. wider Australian public that mm. John Barilaro, bit of a bitch, <laughs> shit bloke. He's a bit of a he's a bitch. Yeah. He started a fight that he couldn't take all the way to the end and ends up leaving politics and quitting the defamation yeah. case. Bitch yeah. move, dude. Mm. He just tried to swing his dick and use money to try and shut down like political discourse and it backfired big time and I'm glad he's gone. But this is a shame. Mr. Shanks will cease selling merchandise featuring Mr. Barillaro upon his retirement from politics. That's fair. If he's a private citizen now, yeah, I guess that's fair. Mm. Um, and But, you know, it's still not over because uh, Jordan's producer, Christo, is still being investigated for criminal charges. So that's now where this money is going to go. I would love to see them. I know it's awful. But mm. oh, a bit of fun. Yep. I would love to see them get away with not putting his face on it, but just so like plain testi- like plain testicles and call them bras nuts. Bras nuts is good. Or, yeah. or, or is you not allowed to use the term bras anymore? Or something. It doesn't say anything like about that. I like that. Color. How about a shirt, plain white shirt, black text, bras. That's all it says. 
How about this? We start selling John Barilaro merch. <laughs> no. What a cash grab that would be. Print on demand. We can just run Facebook ads targeted at Jordan's fans. <laughs> Everyone who missed out on the original drop. And then he can't claim the money that we're making because then he'll get in trouble. Yeah. This <laughs> Jordan, is a gap in the market. Jordan's team takes us to court. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do a crowdfund, dude. We could raise half a mil. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> Just bras tees and comic sans. Yeah. So I think that's great. The good most Jordan. exciting part for me about this, I know it's mm. not about me, but I'm going to make it about me, Yeah. Uh, is that probably I'm hoping after this we don't have to talk about politics for another like six to 18 months no we've still got this um Christo oh, case yeah. so when that's over yeah then okay but I reckon I don't know it looks like they're probably going to win that one too because it seems like I've been watching a bunch of videos of like the lawyers grilling the police commissioner it seems like they didn't follow their own procedures when arresting him because they arrested him because of Basically, what they're saying is we arrested this guy because he caused John psychological harm. And the lawyer was like, okay, so who who said that it would be causing psychological harm? Like, did you get an, uh, an expert in like mental health to say that? And they were like, no, the officers use their own judgment. And they're like, okay, so are they trained at all? And they're like, no. And so, so you've basically got a layman, a person who doesn't really know what they're doing, going, I reckon this is going to cause him psychological harm. Let's raid the, the kid's house and arrest him in front of his parents. <laughs> also, that's such, a, that's such a scary precedent for uh, the police to be able to arrest someone for basically for being rude to a politician. Like, what is psychological harm when it comes to criticizing people in power? It comes down to, like, how you take it, you know? Mm. Like, there's been plenty of politicians that have copped way worse. Pauline Hanson, great example. She would have copped way worse. Yeah, I don't like her, but she's a tough bitch. I'm all for, like, you can sue people mm. for things that you say about other people. I yeah, all for that. arresting them in their own home is so Scary. weird for a word. Police state like, shit. Like, for words. I think that's police state stuff. Yeah. And then when you, if you set a precedent that if you cause a politician psychological harm, they can pull you out of your house... What is yeah. that? Like, you write a mean comment on ScoMo's thing. Like, I didn't like how you handled the bushfires or COVID. And, that, and then he goes, that hurt my feelings. I'm crying. That's caused me psychological harm. Get him, boys. Yeah. So anyway, guys, we're all doomed. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> um, that's the end of the episode. 